This video is about carbohydrate intolerance and Dr. Sainamon's low-carbohydrate hypoglycemic diet. Dr. Sainamon found that 30 to 40 percent of fibromyalgia patients have fluctuating blood sugar when they eat certain types and certain amounts of carbohydrates. So how do you know if you're carbohydrate intolerant? Here are some of the ways. Do you crave sugar or salt? Have you ever had hunger tremors where your hands shake when you're hungry? Have you ever had palpitations, sweating, or panic attacks when you become really hungry? Do you need to eat frequently during the day to keep your energy up? If you become really hungry, might you become foggy, irritable, tired? Or if you have a high carbohydrate meal, high sugar and high carbohydrate meal, might you become foggy, tired, irritable, maybe have increased pain. And there's some other symptoms. Do you have a hard time keeping your weight at the level that's appropriate for your height? Have you ever been diagnosed with pre-diabetes or diabetes? And do you have an elevated hemoglobin A1C? If you answer yes to one or more of these questions, then you may be carbohydrate intolerant and you will benefit from a two-week trial of Dr. St. Amon's hypoglycemic HG diet. So what's happening in the body of a carb intolerant person when they're eating certain foods? Let's say you're carbohydrate intolerant and you eat, say, a banana. Well, your blood sugar goes up your blood sugar goes down, and then insulin is released from the pancreas when it shouldn't be, driving the blood sugar way down and causing what could be severe symptoms. Dr. St. Amand has found sugars, bananas, legumes, and certain other carbohydrates, so things like potatoes, can cause severe symptoms in carb intolerant patients with fibromyalgia. So Dr. St. Amand found a list of foods, a great number of tasty, healthy foods that do not cause blood sugar fluctuations when carb intolerant people eat them. Um, you can go on Dr. St. Amon's website or read in his book the list of foods that are allowed that keep the blood sugar rock steady. If you need to lose weight, you go on the strict hypoglycemic diet. If you don't need to lose weight, you go on the liberal hypoglycemic diet and you stay on the diet for two months. After two months, you can start adding foods back in as long as they do not cause increased symptoms. Most people who are carb intolerant find that after two weeks on the HG diet, they have slightly more energy, slightly less pain, slightly improved mood, and slightly better sleep all due to the foods they're eating, no medications involved. If you want to learn more about results that my patients have gotten on the food plan, you can look for the video about Suzanne's response to the hypoglycemic diet. Many people with fibromyalgia do not know they're carbohydrate intolerant because the symptoms of carbohydrate intolerance and fibromyalgia overlap. The acute symptoms of low blood sugar include frontal headache or pressure, hunger tremors, acute anxiety, sweating, faintness, panic attacks, heart palpitations, and nightmares. The chronic signs of blood sugar fluctuations include fatigue, insomnia, impaired memory and concentration, foot and leg cramps, gas, abdominal pain and diarrhea, numbness and tingling of the hands, feet, face, and ringing ears. You might note that many of these symptoms are fibromyalgia symptoms, so you can see how these symptoms overlap. The wonderful thing about Dr. St. Amon's food plan is that if you're carb intolerant and you go on the food plan, within two weeks, you can tell what symptoms are due to fluctuating blood sugar because those are the ones that start to go away and which ones are due to fibromyalgia. So even though 30 to 40 percent 
of people with fibromyalgia have carbohydrate intolerance, 90 to 95% of my new patients have carbohydrate intolerance. This is for two reasons. First of all, these patients have tried everything under the sun to try to help them feel better, and they haven't tried this diet, which really eliminates some things that you wouldn't think of that is, are causing blood sugar fluctuations. And very few physicians are aware of this really unique and wonderful food plan that helps keep the blood sugar steady. So if you're carbohydrate intolerant, you have the possibility to feel better in two weeks by following the food plan. And it's been my experience that if you are carbohydrate intolerant and do not keep your blood sugar steady, you will not feel better no matter what you do for your fibromyalgia or what other type of diet you follow. So I really encourage you to follow that hyperglycemic diet for two weeks if you think you might be carbohydrate intolerant.